Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 14 QPR3 Beta 2 and I have it here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number and size. It's AP21.240216.010. And if you are updating from March 24 feature drop, the update size is 2.57 gigabytes. And now let's take a look at the new features. Keep in mind that this is a minor update and all the new changes are located under settings. The first one is under sound and vibration and then vibration and haptics. When you scroll all the way down, you will see a new toggle called keyboard vibration, which will allow you to turn off the keyboard haptics without impacting your system settings. The second change is under apps. When you scroll down a bit, you will see a new menu item called cloud media app. When you go inside, it says here, access your cloud media when an app or website asks you to select photos or videos, which means when you open the photo picker, now you can see your cloud media included in the list without the need to open a separate app. But all I can do here is either to select Google Photos or none. I tried to install other apps like Dropbox, uh, OneDrive and Synology Photos, and none of them showed in the list. And when you tap on the gear icon, all you can do here is to allow or don't allow. Even changing my Google account doesn't work. So I'm not sure if the feature is not fully functional or maybe other apps are not yet supporting it. But either way, when I tried to open my photo picker after activating the feature, I got this message at the top. It says here, back the photos now included. You can select photos from your Google account and it shows my Gmail, which I can change if I want or dismiss the message. The third change is under storage and previously you used to have the ability to tap on this banner and it takes you directly to the files app but now this functionality is gone and it says here go to files app to manage and free up space. I'm not sure why Google decided to do this because it was easier to tap on the banner and go to the app itself but now you have to quit and then search for the files app to manage your storage. So I hope Google will bring this functionality back again. Next, under security and the privacy and then more security and the privacy, there is a new toggle called allow camera extensions. The description says enables the default software implementation of advanced camera features such as eyes free videography. I'm not sure what it does exactly, but if you have any idea, please let me know in the comments. Under the display settings, we got two new changes. The first one is the haptic feedback when you change the brightness which is the same feature we got with Android 15 DP1. Now it's part of QPR3 Beta 2. And when you scroll down a bit and then go to touch sensitivity, you will see this new graphical representation for the feature. Google also renamed the passwords and autofill menu to passwords, passkeys and autofill, which makes more sense after the release of the passkeys feature. Last but not least, Google updated the boot screen and now the Android branding color matches your device color palette, same as the G logo. So that's it when it comes to the new features. And now let's talk about the performance and the stability. So far, I didn't encounter any major bugs and everything is working as expected. But honestly, it doesn't deserve the hassle of installing this update because the number of new features is very minor and it's better to stay on the stable version. On top of this, there is a long list of bug fixes with this build. You can pause the video and take a screenshot if you want to go through them one by one. So overall, when it comes to performance and stability, it's not bad. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Android 14 QPR3 Beta 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.